Hello, Senor Wood. Josh, can you hear me? Igual. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Okay, great. Wow, Josh, you look like you had a rough day. Can't hear you. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. It's gonna be my end. Test, 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 test. You can hear you, Vlad. You cannot hear me? work on my end. Can you so, hear me? Yeah. I can you hear you. me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Everything is working. What was going on? I did the test and the test worked fine for me, but then... Who knows? <laughs> Oh, so you look dire, man. What happened? Um, you know, Thursdays are always like a, a long day. And, and, you know, I didn't sleep a lot the, the night before or last night. So I think I'm just, you know, I'm getting in a little bit. Looks like you're getting your exhaustion levels to the top. Um, I am getting my exhaustion levels to the top. Hmm. Well, you look exactly like like the card I told you. You look like you took the night bus to Kyoto. <laughs> I made a uh, a post in workplace that I want you. mic session well you you're getting an open mic session while we do the testing just just to keep it going and yeah you just got a little bit of a spoiler hello everyone and welcome to test session with AG I'm your host Vladimir Oriana and here is our special guest of the day Mr. Josh Wood you know it's funny um I, I... <laughs> I, I think that this is a good little sneak peek into just, well, I, this is what normally happens. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, it's five years before the show comes goes on, and it's only Vlad and, and myself, and we are just sort of. Um, I I I kind of panic a little bit. I'm always like, oh, here comes Kyle. Yeah, hi Kyle. Howdy. Hey, hey Kyle. We're we are audio. not live, but the microphones were on during the sound test, so we are sharing the experience of pre-production with the audience. Nice. <laughs> And, well, I, you know, Andy, Andy says a spoiler that, that he doesn't look well. No, I, there, there was something that Vlad kind of mentioned that uh, has to do with something, but uh, it's okay. Well, I, it was really early in the morning and I, and I couldn't sleep and I saw a video about uh, a uh, service, a bus transportation service in Japan. Mm-hmm. And work is some, is working in something about that. And I was telling him, you know, we, we, we should try to give add this idea into the into the game, right? Like you get this little mechanic that lets you use an extra something. I'm not spoiling the full game. And then you get all exhausted. And and you, know, and you look exactly like what I feel when that happens in the game, like gain eight hours in a boss and next day you're like, Oh, I don't want to do anything. But you just win something, right? I, I love the concept of being able to sleep while traveling. That's why I'm I'm excited about the, the prospect of self-driving cars. Hey Pete, just so you know, our our, our audio is live already. Oh cool! Hi there everyone. Was, hello. There was a problem in the testing with the microphone, so <laughs> so we are giving everyone uh, a little show about how pre-production of the show works. Cool. Yep. Welcome to behind the scenes. Welcome to behind the scenes of Tiny Towns 106. If, we're I past think. 106, aren't we? I don't know. I think it's probably like 108. This is, is this David that? Bauer on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, Wait, it, it's the true story is that we will not know how many shows right. we that? had without David Bauer. This, He's like the true hero of the stream. This is 108. This is, this is 108. 108. If I'm... I mean, I think. Sounds right to me. <laughs> um, is anybody planning on calling today? Um, I, can, I can call. Yeah, yeah please. I like do the, like the, I like do the call. calling. So, yeah. On the first shuffle, uh, Kyle, can you tell us about the special offer of the day? Mm-hmm. And then on the second on the second shuffle, I think I'm going to talk a little bit about Anderson Quest. And now it's the moment where I show you show them the video. Oh, fun. Um. Oh. Oh. Quest returns with two all new quests in one massive Kickstarter. Oh, David Bauer is saying that. As a respected member uh, of society, Count Mortis walked okay. too close to the darkness and now lives off oh, the life force he drains from the citizens get, of the, the Ebonwood. A pocket dimension yeah, shrouded in perpetual twilight. <laughs> I just up the first draft. You must recruit a new band of heroes to protect the citizens from the town's Thank dark you, minions. Mm-hmm. And it's the day and You may be tempted to touch the darkness yourself, but be wary. That the power other, comes at a You're high cost. <laughs> <laughs> Once a lonely peasant, Miracell <laughs> returns to Thunderstone Keep as a powerful wizard, and days. with her, an army of bitter scions. Having lost the hope of creating their own world, these scions that are that determined to claim ours. Miracell has also placed many of Thunderstone's greatest heroes under her control, I'm making a mockery of their look. past deeds. They're not seeing you, you're just hearing you. I'm, I'm just y'all. Oh, okay. It's up to a ragtag group of outcasts to defeat Miracell so and her minions in, in the epic conclusion of the Miracell oh, story. Oh, wow. A quest that will put your deck skills to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderstone Quest is Mike Elliott's award-winning deck-building game of adventure and you know, dungeon dying. I always if you're think new it, to Thunderstone Quest, start by backing at the value-packed champion level, which includes everything listed here. Like, the moment the baby arrives... If you're already a fan, pick up like, the new quests and continue video. your adventure. You're not going to say anything about that. I don't know how it works, but it works. Back Thunderstone Any Quest, time now. The, uh, the baby gets too close to the dog now, she like, whines and whimpers, because for a good 
two or three week stretch, she had a tendency just to reach out and grab a big handful of fur and yank it. <laughs> so the dog sounds like she's being tortured all the time when the baby's around, but she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, doggy. My cats are my cats are locked up because they will eat the tiny town's pieces if they are unleashed. Unfortunately. Uh, you know what? I should probably get my copy of Tiny Towns out instead of. Oh, we should be ready to be going live in in less than a minute, guys. Are we ready? <laughs> uh, I am. Okay, Facebook has been working with me, so that's also good. So, okay, we're going live in, so Pete, I'm gonna focus the camera on you. Okay, test. Test, 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 test. Once again. Test, test, test. We're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 108th day of Tiny Towns at High Noon. We have a setup with a couple of upcoming Villagers cards for you from the Villagers expansion that releases later this month. Um, it is a pretty, pretty good setup. I wouldn't say super tricky, but there are definitely a few routes for victory here. It'll be interesting to see how this all shakes out. And today uh, we are joined by Vladimir Oriana on tech as always. Hello everyone. We've got Josh Wood. Hello, everyone. And Kyle Nunn. How's it going, everybody? And Vlad, who do we have joining us in the chat? Today on the chat, we have ta -ta 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 -ta, Omar Hernandez, Thomas Grip, Theodore Richter, Nathan Daniel, Alice Wood, um, uh, ta -ta -ta, Richard Jens, um, Amy Kaiser, Andy Vett, Paul Johnston, Oscar Logan, Scrolling and scrolling. David Bauer, Jesu Gustavo Gutierrez, Nathan Sutterfield, Ryan Moss, Luke Seegers, Amber Lynn, Thomas Grip, Matt Russ. Welcome to a new day of Tiny Towns at High Noon. Please join our giveaway by liking on and sharing the stream on your timeline. The price of the day is a copy of Point Salad. And also we're doing, since this is Calico release week, we are doing a special promotion for Calico. We will send you a question on the chat on Facebook. And if you answer, you could be selected to win a copy of Calico. Awesome. And uh, sorry for the brief technical difficulties there, but hope everyone enjoyed the uh, impromptu AEG podcast for a little bit. Uh, and Cody, this is your... the new AEG podcast where we talk about nothing. <laughs> um, in case this is your first time joining us, first of all, thank you for playing. Uh, the way we're going to play today is with the Town Hall deck, which is a bunch of resource cards. I'm going to flip one card face up and tell everyone to place that resource. I play a second card face up, tell everyone to place that resource. And then every third card is burned face down, and that is Builder's Choice, as we call it. You choose what resource to put in your town. So there are 15 cards, three of each resource, but five cards are burned on each shuffle, so you don't know exactly what's going to come up. Uh, Vlad's got the setup for you on the screen there, and I'll go through it right now really quick. We have the cottage, as always. Our red building is the granary. Our gray building is the outhouse from Villagers. I'll come back to that one. Yellow is the market. Green is the almshouse. Orange is the monastery, also from villagers. And black is the warehouse. Vlad's got the buildings blown up on the screen there if you want to grab a quick screenshot to remember their layouts and what they do. So the outhouse is worth one point, and when you build it, it can hold a resource in the future. So if I call something you don't want to place, and it's definitely going to happen, you can put it in your outhouse. Uh, it can only hold one resource each outhouse, but you can build as many of them as you like. And it is still worth a point if you put a resource in it. The monastery is worth one point and then plus one point for each square between the monastery and the nearest fed cottage. And we count those squares going orthogonally. Um, so that can be worth quite a bit of points. And as always, you should deal yourself two monuments. Pick one that you're going to play with for today. Just make sure to take out the Opalize Watch and the Starloom as they don't work in this format. Alrighty. First resource up is a glass. Ooh. 
Okay, uh, now I'm hiding the monastery and the old house and putting the class. Couple of glass. Let's see. So, I have been trying to remember a bunch of things from my past and try to write about some stuff. And I started remembering some toys that I got when I was a kid. 84. 87 to 89 some year around that and I and I remember this toy this this kind of uh, Lego spaceships and I remember it because I got one a really small one and then I started saving to get a bigger set and I saved it for like I think six to nine months to finally get the money for it and every every two weeks I Walk it near the shop that sell the toy. See, I, I I went to the window, watched the toy, and went back to the house to figure out to to see the price again and figure out how much money I had and how much I was left. Right. And the the day that I finally got the money, I went with my mom to a, with my mom to a store. We walk like maybe a mile from my house to a store. And when we reach the place, the toll has been sold the week before. Oh. So that's why I remember the toy, right? And 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 I just had the illusion of this little spaceship and the way it worked. And last week, I got to talk with my friends from the Transformer group, and and I asked them, "Do you guys know what could be this toy?" V? I just remember it was little spaceships and things like that. And they started to work together to figure it out. They, they, everyone sent me pictures. And the next day, someone found the toy that I wanted to get. And three days later, one of my friends said that someone in Guatemala actually had the toy. And today... They sent me this one, and it was not the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give everyone a quick second glass while Vlad. Wow. After That's 33 it. years, I got the wow. toy. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. So, so wait, wait, is that a transformer or not a transformer? No, no, no. It's just, it's called Multimac, and it's a bunch of space base, spaceships that are, are made in little parts, and then you combine them together to shape them any way that I you see. want. So, yeah. just took 33 years. Are you going to open it or keep it as a collector's item? I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. He's going to open it up and play with it so much. That yes. Is, he's that is he's going Vlad. to fulfill the lifelong dreams of young Vlad. Yep. yep. Woohoo! So, um, young Vlad is okay. pretty happy today. So, um, someone in the chat, Theodore, asked, how many houses do you usually recommend to build in a game? You know, since the warehouse is in, maybe only like, you know, one or two, I think, you know, but if you feel like you're having a lot of pressure with like bad resource calls, I think go for some more. Yeah, and I think I usually try not to build the gray buildings early on in the game. I try to save those for late game because it's easiest to make big buildings early. But I think outhouse is an exception. I think it's a perfectly good idea to have an outhouse just for when things go wrong. But yeah, like Josh said, we've got warehouse to mitigate a little bit. Um, but then again, outhouse in play means you could avoid warehouse if you want. Um, yes. Yeah, it's a tricky, tricky decision. After that, glass is builder's choice. I recommend not choosing glass. I'm sure. I, I'm sure that exactly zero people are choosing glass. If you are choosing <laughs> glass right now, please let us let know us what know. you're doing. And let us know why, because that's a very interesting decision. Well, they, they really want a bunch of glass, and they already know that two of the glass are gone in the deck. Okay. All right. Okay, Definitely. and after that builder's choice is a wood. We didn't get the dreaded triple glass. That's okay. I would have been sad. Uh, Jackie is in the chat. Yeah. They, oh, uh, cool. She has the show, uh, Show Me How to Win. Um, Hi, Jackie. Thanks for joining. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Jackie, if you haven't seen my message on on Twitter, 
I will send you the tracking number for your games as soon as I get them. We had been pretty busy, pretty busy, especially with Calico. Uh, I think, I think, I think it's finally official, right, Kyle? We we just ran out. Uh, we no, it's not official. Official. It is just pseudo official. Okay, so since I, I there is technically inventory in the warehouse. <laughs> to say that it is available is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so semi official, we run out of Calico. Uh, everyone's really happy at the company. Guys at Flow are also really happy with that. Thank you so much for supporting <clears throat> the game. The game. All right. After that, wood is here's the third glass. So it's the third glass there's, in a row. But there's the third glass. It's a lot, and it's going to make today very interesting. Um, I decided I was going to build a warehouse early on, and I have so far done absolutely nothing to contribute to that warehouse whatsoever. Mm -hmm. well, what's what's your wood being used for right now? Um. Oh, a market. That's a market. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a market, and I'm going to make my markets not on the side of the board. I'm going to try to make a row of markets one row in. And it's yeah. probably not going to work, but we'll see. Look, I, I, I've got to say, the I wish we could have somehow put in the scoring, like if it wasn't on like the edge of your board, it was worth more points. Like like if we gave yeah. it an additional plus one, if it was in the center of your board. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been super cool. That would have made people want to build like four, like, the, like, like what you're doing today. And I've done it before. And it, it can really work. And it's what you'd want to try to do today um, since you can still set up your monastery in the corners mm -hmm. and then you can do the row of markets. And if you pull that off, it's it's a guaranteed win. Something that's difficult about this setup is that you don't want to build a lot of monasteries or a lot of cottages today if you're going to build um, monasteries. So then if you want to go for some nice juicy money monasteries, then you need to think like, well, what am I going to fill the rest of my board with? Well, then you fill with the other things. But then it's like almshouse is pretty much the only thing that's going to score you points because markets, your, you know, your corners are going to block off all your rows. So yeah, good strategy. Oh, and uh, Adrian is asking how you use the red building. So the granary is going to feed cottages in the eight surrounding squares. That is if you choose to put it in the middle of your board. If you put it on the edge, you can feed like five. Put it in the corner, you could feed three. Um, so they've just got to be surrounding it. And after that, glass is fortunately a builder's choice. Feels like it's been a long time since we had that. This is my almshouse board. So that is one almshouse of six, hopefully. And this is my everything else board. Let's see. Yeah, you know, your almshouse board might struggle today because... Maybe. Like, like I said, you know, this is a weird day of having to fill up your board with a lot of stuff. I, I have kind of this hybrid strategy where I'm not going to use the market, but mm. I kind of wish I could start over and actually do what you're doing. Jackie's saying that you guys will, at this rate, you guys will be known as the game, as the, as the cat com, game company. Do you think? <laughs> do we have plans for another cat game in 2021 or 2022? Well, Josh and I have a very, we have a concept for a game that involves cats that has uh, been playtested once or twice. Extremely rough, but Extremely the rough idea rough. exists. Yeah. So who knows? It, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Like, I, I thought of some, you know, like I've, I've thought about like a lot of just things that you could do with more cat games, but, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, that builder's choice oh. is this stone? No. Oh. Stone is good. Stone is good. Um, uh, Adrian saying monasteries have to go in the yeah. corners. No, it, it, they just will maximize your points if you can put them in like you know mm -hmm. on, on farther sides of your boards because then they'll be further away from cottages. Um, but no, they could go anywhere. It's just... mm -hmm. All right, and after that, stone is a wheat, which is good stuff. Wheat. Wheat is good. Wheat is good. Monastery might be my favorite piece of art for the new expansion. Oh, 
I got so used to Monument Mondays, I forgot to deal myself out of Monument. Oh. You know, I'm, you, I'm not playing with a Monument today, actually. Wait, I'm not either. Let's just All not right. play Monuments. Here we go. No Monument Day! No Monument Day. I figured I've got two boards, and I just I didn't feel like playing Prison Forge again because it melts my brain. Um, so here we are. That's too funny. All right, after that, Wheat is another builder's choice. I don't want to do that. I am going to do this. Oh, man. <clears throat> and after Builder's Choice is a brick. The thing I just chose. I almost chose it. And, and then I was like, you know what? I don't, I, I, I don't want to do that. And so I decided to let you call it for me because I saw that you placed it and I was like, oh great, we're just going to get another brick in a good second. Choice. So. Good choice. And after that brick is a stone which is always good news for this board and always okay news for this board. Alright. Following stone, we have Builder's Choice. But of course, it's hard to look and notice what I'm choosing because I'm going to choose different things a lot of the times. So I'm choosing... I'm going to give myself a stone on this board, and I'll give myself a wood on this board, I think. Just assume it's whatever hurts you worse. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Dude, right, after that builder's my, choice, mine. let's see. Okay. Is it going to be... Everyone play with monuments. I just, we, we're just not playing monuments here. Oh, yeah. No, you're welcome to, of course. I mean, you can play with coins if you want to. You can... You can play with tiny tears if you want to. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, three. Well, you have three that, alms houses. I've got three. Yeah, I mean those glass. I just lined them up, chose stone every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, after that, builder's choice is a wheat. Glad's taunting you, Josh. <laughs> I'll get my copy one of these days. Twenty twenty two. Did you say stun or wit? You know, I you know, Rado, Rado picked it as his second favorite thing of the uh, of the month, and we just lost it to, to the Marvels champion thing. And hard to not lose oh. against the Marvels champion. Yeah, it, you know, I was like, I was like, okay, fine, we'll, we'll lose against Marvel. Yeah. Uh, did you say wit or stun? I said wheat. Thank you. And I am rethinking everything. Yeah, it'll work. I'm going to put my granary in the middle. It'll be exciting. Yeah, there is no shame of losing against Marvel. Even Superman lost against Marvel. And after that, wheat is a brick. Nice. See, I have to do it too. <laughs> so let's do it together! Oh gosh. Hey, Here Kyle! You. What? <laughs> Not you too. This is all vengeance uh, for the cat that didn't make it into Cat Lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the next one. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Josh. <laughs> all right, finally, builder's choice to end that run through the deck. Uh, Paul asks if we uh, saw Tom's fast review of the Witchers. Yeah, we saw it. Yeah. Yep. It was a little bit more like. Um, you know, he was definitely more like, oh, if you re uh, like really like Tiny Towns, you know, I he did he did pontificate on the fact that like uh, about like um, how Tiny Tears seems like an absurdity to him because like he's like the game is already hard enough, but that's the point. That's Although the point. I mean, according to this group of players, Tiny Tears was not so bad. There were a lot of scores in the 40s when we showed everyone Tiny Tears. Just I'm just going to remind game. everyone that this is the, the group that beats you on scores of Tiny Towns. <laughs> They're really good players. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is there anything we want to tell folks about as I'm shuffling here? Yeah, we have a special on the online store, and Cal is going to help us remind, you, remind us what that is. Yes. Kyle and Assistant. Kyle and the assistant. Uh, nice we assistant. currently have spend $30 in the online store. Use the promo code 
Trick or Treat in Burano, and you will get a free copy of Burano with your order. Awesome. I still need to play that one. It's pretty good. Let you know, some people have asked me if, if like Santa Monica was inspired by that game, but um, I, I actually designed Burano like years ago. Like I, I think I designed Santa Monica before Cat Lady even came out, but I remember when Brano came out, I told John Zinter, I said, hey, I have a game that I'm working on that it's like, this is like, a, like it's got a similar aesthetic quality or something to it. And um, I'm like, you should really check out this game. And um, that's the reason why we have it. <laughs> All right, the first resource on the Fresh Shuffle is, oh no, it's a glass. That is a bad omen if I ever saw one. <laughs> I actually really wanted that glass, so <laughs> okay. Well, I'm that before you. Yeah. Jackie saying that you have a lovely assistant. Thank you. I think she's aware. She's posing for the picture. She is. She is. If you I turn a camera to... towards her and she can see herself, she will smile at it. Ah. <laughs> After that glass is a wood. Good call, it is... Pete. It is. It's kind of bad. Yeah. It's kind of bad. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Have you had? Oh, wait, wait. I can't do that. Um, you know what? I'm going to put that in the warehouse. Um, I'm going to make her do this. Ryan Moss is saying, all I know is when I finally get to play Tiny Toons, I expect to dominate. Feel like I'm already an experienced player. Whoa! She smiles a lot! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's cute. And that's uh, that's life here. <laughs> After that, wood is a builder's choice. Hey, life full of cuteness. Jackie says, "Brian, remind me of Dream Home." Yeah, it's a little bit more like Dream Home, where it's in that like kind of weight and class. Sorry, what'd you just call Pete? Builder's choice. Oh, I like that one. Me too. Um. Yeah, Dream Home is a game that uh, I like the theme and the and like the aesthetics and the kind of concept. Um, I didn't get to play the expansion. I wanted a little bit more to that game, but that's just because I play a lot of games. But I think that's a great game for people who are. I really want to play Floor Plan from Deepwater Games, the one where you like make the layout of a home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. You know, you know, there was a there was a Japanese game that that came out that has a similar concept. <clears throat> that came up, I think, the year previous. It, and I've been kind of obsessed with that whole idea. I think cool. even even the new Dinosaur Island like Roll and Write game that's on Kickstarter. I think that that's like another game where you get to like, you know, really construct, you know, like drawings. Like you know, you get to build your little place, and I don't know, it seems cool. I, I love games it's not where a you get to write. build your little place. Yeah, it, it's not a roll and write, Josh. It's true. It's a roar in right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After yes. that, builder's choice is a stone. We have to ask Demi if you actually need to roar in the game. Um, I I wonder I wonder like it. I have a I have a friend in my gaming group that I fully expect now that like before my turn, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna roll the dice, and then he's gonna be like, don't you mean roar the dice? He's gonna say that every single time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dreading playing that game now. All right. After stone, we have a brick. You know, we need to build a roll, a roll and write for EAG. Even if it's only to play uh, during the quarantine with people. That's a good point. Well, Vlad, I do have that roll and write that I designed. Well, well I I play that game, and you I, and unfortunately, it's still it very specifically cannot be played. Uh, online like most roll and rights. Yep. Yep. After brick is builder's choice. Yeah, but maybe maybe that, it's mash up roll and right. Um that is the um <laughs> I think you misunderstood we're talking about Daniel Craig's film Dream House. Um oh player's choice. Ooh, I'm gonna choose a wheat, I think. I 
didn't realize that we were there, actually. So, All right, after Builder's Choice is a wheat. That is okay. That is not like wheat, so. That is kind of bad. Kind of bad. It's pretty bad. I need to build two more almshouses or I'm in trouble town. Ryan right, mostly Big saying trouble tiny in tiny towns. Town. Yeah. Ooh, I will love I will yeah. like to play that one. Right, is it a tiny towns that could be a roll and write? Yeah. Um it's it funny. Is. Uh th there was a time when I just drew a four by four grid and then I just had the I just had cubes and I'd put them out. Yeah. And then when I wanted to build something, I'd remove the cubes and then just draw the building. Mm -hmm. Actually like that. Yep. Uh, after that we is a brick. Oh boy, that's really rough. Wow, this board's okay with it. This board is hurting. <laughs> this board's just angry. <laughs> oh, it's like I'll need I'll need it eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should just you should just build another you should just build another greenery. Possibly. I just don't want that at all um i think you need to i think i need to too if i had put that wheat somewhere else i could just like slam down a warehouse but that's not happening oh man this is brutal oh you actually oh no no, no. i see what you're saying yeah, yeah. you you could right, you could start a warehouse builder's choice i could still but it would not be easy at all I think I might need to content myself with just the uh... building. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm going for the houses. It's exciting. It'll be fun. I always make, always do the more memorable thing, even if it means your town is worth twelve points. And after that, builder's choice is a brick. Okay, rethinking now. Now I'm sad. Wait, was that a brick? Yep. Yeah, it's a brick. So, oh, that's awesome. are you guys having trouble getting your Kickstarters? I guess, like, which Kickstarter? Like, just in general? Uh, well, I, I mean, I have a bunch of Kickstarters that have been delayed. That's why I'm asking. I only have, I only have one that I haven't gotten. <clears throat> I'm, I'm up. Well, I will talk about it because I don't want to. I'm just, okay. uh, there, there's, there's one Kickstarter that I'm... Like, okay, guys, you, you can deliver this. I, I guarantee it. Because <laughs> it's a reprint. <laughs> like, I know how long it takes to reprint a game. Okay. Oh, I messed up. Oh, this town is just shot. I, I have done it. I put the cottage in the wrong spot, and this board is completely Oh, closed. you did. Wait, you just did that. Just move it right now. You can move it. No, no, I just, what, what was called last? It was, uh, oh, it was. It was, we well, got... I mean... Yeah, you just built it. You break, literally just built build it. Choice, you built break. it, but you just built it. Yeah, you just built it. Just move yeah, it. Yeah, but the brick was called. I've got new information. I gotta, I gotta roll with it. I gotta roll with it. I, I, I have an out for myself. I know one way I can fix it. It's just really unlikely. We'll see. Uh, that brick is just going to the outhouse, though. Uh, okay. After that brick is a wood, which is. That's a resource. Yeah, just no, no. What are you doing, Pete? Don't do that. Don't do that, Pete. Pete, look. Brick just put revealed. it. Just put it by your bottom alms house and build your second granary. That's your way out of this. Well, no, no. The cottage. The cottage lives where it lives. Hey. Oh, the wait, other granary wait, 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 wait. was. That was part of my plan, though. That, the, that the, this, was this is a great time to remind everyone that there is a very obscure rule in Tiny Towns called the Cave Rule. <laughs> Can you guys remind everyone how the Cave Rule works? Yes, the cavern rule. Yeah, if you want, uh, you can give yourself two two times throughout the game. You're allowed to just say, I'm not placing that resource. And you set two resources aside, set each resource aside as you do not place it. That is the cavern rule. In fact, someone on BoardGameGeek made a nice little uh, image that you can print out if you want to have an actual place to put your resources. And after that, what is a builder's choice? Yeah, I put the cottage there because I was thinking, oh, this is the only way I can tuck in that last almshouse and then do one more over here. But uh, it's all good. I'm gonna fix it. Gonna fix everything. Um. So, oh, theater said I'm still waiting for the Space Invaders board game supposed to be delivered in twenty December twenty nineteen. Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly waiting for that game. 
Uh, I yeah. just got my Vorpal board Kickstarter today, which Ooh. is the the metal arm that holds a camera above your table, and it links with a, a streaming service. So basically, you can play board games remotely with people. You pay for the service, but anyone you invite, you just say, hey, here's the link, and then they can join and play along. Um, and what's really cool about it is that it can scan components. So rather than making a version of something in Tabletop Simulator, I can just like take a picture of the component, the software realizes where the component is and then throws it onto this website. And then you just have like a very easy digital version of whatever game you want. Ooh, um, uh, please invite yeah. me to play that. I want to see it. Oh, I will. It's really cool and it's super capable. People play Gloomhaven with it. So it can pretty much do just about anything. Um, it's awesome. I haven't set up the software yet, but I'm really excited, especially from like a prototyping perspective. Because yeah. then I don't have to make a tabletop simulator version. I can just throw it on this website. Scan the components in. After uh, I, was just saying, I, I thought that the cabin rule is an optional rule. It is it is an optional yep. rule. Um, it is optional. We, we Glass is the next call. call. But... Um, what did you call after a builder's choice, Pete? I called Glass. <laughs> Your favorite resource of the game. It's It's not, though. It's really not. Uh, it's not as bad as a brick. It's what are you, wait, wait, what are you planning on doing with that glass and that brick right there? The brick is going to be part of my warehouse. <laughs> I, I, I mean, a warehouse, it's only going to get me a few cottages, though. I don't know, Josh. W what do you advise? This is, this is pretty dire straits. <laughs> Money for nothing. Um... Da, 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 that, yeah, da, I could da, loop in a warehouse and make a bunch of stuff. But the only thing I can make, the best case scenario, is two cottages. So that's all I'm getting for the warehouse. It's not really worth it. Okay, so instead, yeah, the glass is going to go here. I'm just going to make a cottage. Yeah. I think oh, it's... so rough. Yeah. So rough. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do over there. And then over here, I don't particularly like that glass. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. It, it's tough because like you just need you need things to fill your board with, and I don't think you want to go for two more alms house. In that corner, what I would do if I were you in the in the one that like only like a lawn building could fit into, no no, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would try to put I would try to put a one point monastery there. Oh no, I'm gonna put an outhouse there. Why put a one point monastery? I can put a one point outhouse that can hold something. I guess so. After that glass is a stone. Ooh, start working on that outhouse. Hey, Kyle. And are, are we meanwhile, having... my Sorry. market board is doing totally fine. Everything's cool over here, which is great. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, what did you say, Vlad? I'm just asking Kyle if we're going to have a meeting today after the stream, or if we're going to postpone it due to our friend fighting a hurricane. Uh, I think we should go ahead and have it because I uh, don't think our friend will be available until uh, next week. Okay. All right. Uh, after that, stone is a builder's choice. Lucky he gets a day off because of a hurricane. Jesus. <laughs> And while we're shuffling, we're going to tell you about a game that we have right now on Kickstarter, and that game is Thunderstone Quest. And I'm going to just show you the sc on the screen what I'm talking about. So, Thanks, Bill, for stopping by. What? Yeah, I'll just add that... Um... So, Thunderstone Quest is our deck builder game. Uh, Today, tomorrow is going to be the last game that we are on Kickstarter funding this version of the game. We're bringing two new expansions, uh, two new quests. And for the first time, Thunderstone Quest is going to be available on German and French. You're also getting a chance to get everything that we previously offer on other Kickstarters because we're doing the first time on other languages. So please check it out. There is a link right now in the chat. And if you haven't back it or you know a friend that uh, may like these type of games,
please share with them the link and check the website out. Just one more thing before it's gone. Alrighty. Um, oh, Kyle, we've lost your video. And audio, possibly. Yeah, remember that he sometimes has problems with his connections. Oh, yeah, he's oh, it's back. fine. I just had to get up okay. and deal with something. Okay. <laughs> the um, first call for that run through the deck is a wood. Bill Kennedy wow. saying, thank you all. Fun as always. I have to go to luck. Thank you, Bill. Have a great day. Oscar says, our friend spoilers? No, no, just one of our co-workers. Yep. Uh, he's just having to deal with... I, I'm so sorry. The, the hurricane's name is Delta? I think so. Yes. Hmm. I, I thought hurricanes always had people's names. Is that like... They, they do, have... but we've been through so many of them this year, we're going back... Oh, yeah. And there's Delta, there's a contingency I was, I, list. I, I was like, I, I was like, we would have to be before D. Oh. Weird. Yeah, we we've gone through the entire gambit. Yeah. Huh. Uh, after that, wood is a glass. Glass has been a little much today. Yeah. A little much. Moscow. Re well, let me double check that. Break, we had one, two, three, five weeks, six glass, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, and then after glass is builder's choice. Do a wheat. I'll do a wheat also. And then over here, I'm gonna do a stone. I did it. I got my row of markets not on the edge of the board. I don't know if I've ever done that before, maybe like once. Yeah, this is this is not my problem board. This is this is like the biggest disparity I've ever had between the two. All right, after that, builder's choice is a stone. Oh yeah, stone is, looks like a blessing. It's not. You'd be wrong. I'd be wrong. Well, <laughs> half of your board is empty In, on both boards. Well, just in one. This board, yeah, this board can handle whatever. This board's great. <laughs> this board's not. Yeah. After that, stone is a glass. Oh, boy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. What did you call after the stone? I said glass after stone. Oof. -a. Oh boy. Drown? I don't know her. And then glass over here <laughs> is. Okay, all right. And then we have a builder's choice after glass. Let's read those some comments from the chat. And then I'm going to hope that. David Bauer is saying they're out, they are out using the Greek alphabet now. Amy Kaiser is saying they go to Greek letters after they finish up the name list. Paul Johnston is saying Delta Goodrim is an actress and singer. And Berlin says, I heard something mentioned about Delta, and I thought they meant the airlines. I was very confused. Krista mm -hmm. Jones is saying, I do not know her. And Jacqueline Chow is saying, more glass. Because I'm we can always more use glass. more glass. This is ridiculous. But you know, Rick, Pete's Magic up. Hand is going to give us a glass soon. So be prepared <laughs> for a third glass in this room. Um, so, so, so sorry. Is the next one a dealer's choice or? We had dealer's choice and then brick. Oh. <laughs> wow, that brick is not good. Do I put it in no. the warehouse? Do I put it in the warehouse? Do I put it in the warehouse? I I'm think I'm going to. That goes in the outhouse. I think it's going to go in the warehouse. I have not built an outhouse today and. That's a mistake. It's always a mistake. After that brick is a wheat, which is amazing news for both amazing boards. For me. Yeah, in fact, if I wouldn't have put that in the warehouse if I knew that that was the next call. What was the next call? I'm sorry. It was wheat. Okay, and after that wheat is a builder's choice. So who in this chat room is going to play Baldur's Gate 3? 
I've already bought it. Chan, chan, chan. You can Sorry, get an early have, access, right? Dealer's choice. Uh, dealer's choice is what we're on, yep. Okay. I will build a... Yeah, I'm going to build an almshouse. I'm going to go for four almshouses. I only have two right now, and we're kind of running out of room, so... Ooh, are you an, are you already playing it, Kyle? I downloaded it, uh, but I have been super busy and have not had a chance to play it. Uh, I had a conundrum last night until I ran into stuff I had to do. I was, do I play Baldur's Gate 3 or do I play more Star Wars Squadron? Oh, Star Wars Squadron looks good. Yeah, It's real good, but you know, with the 7th month old, it's always... Um, yeah, I get like maybe an hour. Maybe. That's not bad. I only play, I only play about an hour of video games a day. Personally, Dude, I get an hour. In the morning, it's my. If I'm able to play an hour of video games when I have kids per day, that'd be great. Um, after that, builder's choice is a brick. You know, a brick brick's is not so good. good. Nope. And we got the first score from Richard Gangs. He's out with twenty six. Do this. Oh man! Come on, uh, glass. My hesitation with Star Wars Squadron is the flight controls in Star Wars Battlefront. They just none of them work for me. I've tried every single configuration, and I really like flying games. Um, but like my flying controls are sort of ingrained in my brain, and I found controls that work for me in every other flying game except for whenever EA does flight. And so which, I'm worried which, that which Battlefront? The original Battlefront or the EA Battlefront? The, in the newest Battlefront, I can't fly the plane. The controls are just like exactly inverted from what I would want them to be. No matter which of their like eight different layouts they give you, none of them work for me. So I'm worried that squadrons would be the same way. I just wouldn't be able to play it. I had to it. turn the sensitivity way up. Uh -huh. uh, but it plays very similar to the old X-Wing versus TIE Fighter and Ooh. all those games. Those. Oh. You, you haven't played X-Wing? Oh. 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 Those are so brick good. Is another brick. Beat, really? Because... Why? Yep. I don't know, Vlad. I would not have... I would not have chosen this on purpose. This is this is a nightmare. No, about the game. I, I, the double break I was expecting. Uh, okay. I mean, mind you, I didn't have I didn't have any consoles until PS2. I wasn't allowed video games until. Well, these are old PC titles, Pete. PC. Yeah, these are all old PC titles. Oh, I, I've never had a PC that could play anything except the pinball game that came on them. <laughs> exactly. That's the type of PC that run does those games. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, after that, brick is builder's choice. Okay. Luke is asking, oh, what, what, have what, we what, done the calico question yet? Around. No, we haven't. Is is wood or is wood or glass more likely? Uh, we have had two glass and one wood, so wood is more likely. I'm sorry. I meant stone versus glass. We've had one stone and two glass. And one glass. Yep. All right, man, every single time I build a warehouse, I'm like, maybe this is going to be the game where I don't totally fill it up. But then the late game comes around, and it is always a better option to put a resource in there for minus one points than plug up my board with garbage. So there's my full, my, my brick house over there. Uh, after that, builder's choice is a wood. Lovely news over here. Terrible news. Good news, everyone. Bad news, everyone. And then following wood. Oh, come on, stone. It's a glass because, of course, it Yay. is. Yay! Nice. What's wrong? If that wasn't glass? stone. If that wasn't stone or glass, then I was out. So I needed glass too. So I, I, I wouldn't be out, but I'd be like in the. I would be in the danger zone. Where and I, I will remind there. everyone right now that we do a daily giveaway, and we're going to give out a copy of uh, of point salad today. And if you want to win that copy, you just need to like and share the stream on your timeline. Cool. All right. And finally, Builder's Choice. Yep. 
got my old no point cottage over here. Just gonna lay that flat to remember that doesn't ruin my monastery. This board is done. All right, so do we have anything else we wanna share with folks on this shuffle? I got my four almshouses. I feel pretty good about that, but. Yep, I got that too. That's about all I have going for this nightmare board. Uh, any other announcements or deals we want to share with folks? No. Keep buying Okay. All righty. Let's see. How did I do? Pretty funny. I got exactly the same amount of points from almshouses and cottages. Chris's Cascade for flat out Cascade. It looks really fun. Yeah. It is really good. Fun. Yeah, it's quite good. Richard says my daughter scored in the negatives. That's safe for for uh, any of our games. Yeah, that can that can happen, but don't worry, you'll be better next game. Yep. Alrighty. First resource of the fresh deck is a glass, just like the first two times. Well, oh, that is a warehouseable resource. Yep. And after glass is a brick. What the heck? Glass brick. Wow. Glass brick. Yeah. So it's going to be glass oh. brick, builder's choice, brick, glass, yep. builder's choice. I don't know. Maybe. It's <laughs> hopefully not. It's possible. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. So bad. I'll just put that brick there, I guess. And then we have, yes, Builder's Choice. Yep. Come on, Pete. Don't don't let me down. It's a glass. Woohoo! Almost. Vlad, you're very evil today. I'm always why, evil. Why do you wish such harm upon our towns? Uh, I am... I am... No, I, I could instead place a brick from my warehouse... And then I could get a wheat, and it would save me one point. <laughs> it's another brick, Vlad. Come on, man. Why? I was wondering what else here. That is exactly what Vlad said it would be. Wow. This is why I, I don't like Colin. I, I literally had... You literally had like three turns to call um, a wheat, yeah. like, and you didn't do it, and it's like I, I know. <laughs> My score's gonna be really bad today. Are you, done? are you still in? Or are you done? No, I'm I'm done. This is this is what my board now looks like because. Um, I have my my perfect three monasteries over here, and I have a perfect three cottages here, and yep. then I have my. But then, like all, all I needed was a way to build my granary here, and I just needed one of those resources to be a wheat. Wait, do you have no fed cottages? I have no fed cottages. That means that my my monasteries don't score either. Wow! Ouch! That's really rough. So, so really, you're not calling wheat in like four resources. You just needed it like in one of those four resources, and because yep. you didn't, I went from having like a a five and two four point monasteries, and then twelve and then nine points for my cottages to all that being zero. So, how many? What what is what is four alms houses worth? Uh, four alms houses is fifteen, and the next resource is a builder's choice. Kyle, are you, had you survived that barrage somehow? I am just in. How many points can I salvage mode? I got. I got I've nine. Been down <laughs> for a little while. All right. After I that builder's choice. Total. Hello, after Cassandra. That welcome. Choice, yes. Glass. <laughs> glass. <laughs> Look at Vlad's face. I didn't. I've never seen this side of you before. Vlad is evil. What are you talking about? This is like every game. Yep. He, he loves it because he doesn't have to play the game. Of course, he wants the worst resources. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, very good point. You should have saving you some points, Josh. 
He says you still get one point for the monastery. You still get one point. So the best that can happen is a third brick. Okay, that's true. I get nine yep. points total. Yeah. It's not brick. It okay. is wood. That's good. I, I so I <laughs> yeah I I just want to say that um I mean look if I wouldn't have been so tempted to try to build the two more um, alms houses I probably would have been fine but I do want to say I am I am just I'm very angry and upset I'm very my angry. I'll do another resource here it is builder's choice um my problem board got 29 points, which turned out to be the higher of the two. Market board, that had a nice tidy row of markets in the middle, not on the edge, plus an extra market here. I only got 20 points somehow. Well, I mean, minus eight. monastery ended up being worth like nothing. No, it's worth four. This is an unfed cottage. Oh. Uh... Um, so it's not nothing. You know, I've got five four-point buildings. Well, yeah, really, I've got five, five, five points. Josh, points. Pete, I have a question from the chat. Don't you yep. still get one point for the monastery without the Kodash? Yes, yes, we, we pointed that out. Josh saved himself yes. a couple points there. Yeah, Thank so you. I have 12 points. Yep. But... Uh, are you still going, Kyle? Uh, yes, I can possibly build an outhouse. Well, here's a stone. Oh, okay, that works. I've got an outhouse. Yeah, yeah. Ryan brings up a good point. Uh, Vlad always roots for Oscar, who is the um, resident seagull in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Vlad, you should see Vlad on on Santa Monica days. He only wants bad things to happen because he doesn't, you know, he he just wants the chaos. He wants he to watch the world burn. Yep. Oh my gosh! All right. After that, stone is a wheat. Oh, there's I, a I'm wheat. Done now, oh, good, good. Uh, only. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten calls later that wheat comes, but you know. Yeah, it's funny. Wheat was like the danger resource for both my boards. I was like, oh no, what if there's too much wheat? And that was not that was not a thing. It was brick and glass. Look at how red and blue the screen yeah, is. I used I used wheat for a lot of my players' choices. I used wheat for yep. a lot of my players' choices. All right, uh, we've got a builder's choice next. Yeah, if Vlad called, he would replace all the bricks and stone with extra wheat. It would be very interesting to have a day where just Vlad decides what resource we get for every Next call. Monday. No, we would no, rename would it Tiny Tears. We would just do glass, 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 wheat, wheat, wheat. No, 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 no. Brick. Next Monday, I'm going to give you that. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the real Tiny Tears. Yep. That's the real the Tiny June Tears. Call with Vladimir Oriana. <laughs> He calls your resources. Everyone cries. Uh, after that, builder's choice, another wheat. Especially be because I have the setup it. from the day. And following that is a stone. And then finally, builder's choice. If you somehow survived all of that, good job. Kyle, I think you killed both of us. I don't know about that. Okay. I, well, I've got 20 and 29, so. Oh, we tied. I got 29. Really? I mean, I usually 12, when I play so. two boards, I, I go by the score of the lower board. Oh, fair. Otherwise, I got 29 on my single board then. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely handing that victory to you. Um, yeah, I, th I think 20 would technically be my score. With all the um, glass that you gave out, I managed to build four markets and four alms houses. Oof. Wow, that's bold to go for markets and alms houses. That is a <clears> lot of stone and glass. I didn't start going for both. Yeah, I ended up going for both. <laughs> Sometimes you got to pivot. Yeah. All righty. Uh, do we have anything else we want to share with folks at home? Sure. We want that? to share the winners. Oh, yes. So the winner of Point Salad is Adrian Winmiller. And the winner for Calico is, give me one second. Work for me thing. Work. Darren Green. So congratulations to you both. Please send us a message on Facebook so we can send you the copy of your game. And thank awesome. you for playing. Congrats. Yeah. Well, right. else, uh, tomorrow we're going to play Space Base. Space Base! And next week is Cat Ladies Week. So next week you're going to get the chance to win copies of Cat Lady. And on Thursday we're actually going to play cat lady instead of tiny towns and probably we're going to move forward like that so mondays and tuesdays you're gonna see pete playing tiny towns with us 
Wednesdays and Thursdays we're gonna have Santa Monica and Cat Lady, and on Friday is Space Base. Awesome. First. Well, uh, thank you all for playing. I will see you on Monday, and I will be back tomorrow with our Space Base stream. Stay safe and keep playing games, everyone. See you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank Have you for playing day. with us. Stay safe. And yeah, usually at this moment is that we go back to our normal chat, but I left the mic open just to keep with the theme of the day. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right. Goodbye.